what, what my effort today is, first of all, I, I just want to say I'm a Howley boy. Uh, and I, I, I'm uh, in the movement because I believe in the movement so much. And I think that we need non-Hawaiians involved in the movement uh, right at the heart because this is not, as we have said again and again and again today, uh, a future nation for Hawaiians. This is a future nation for all of us. huh? And uh, that, that, that means people like me, people like my wife who's Japanese, people like other people in here who are not Hawaiian at all. Okay, this guy over here. <laughs> okay. I, I, want, I want to just give you some ideas about things that are happening that we don't hear anything about. Did you know that from the time of the first human being to walk the earth until we had two million people, it took from all those hundreds of thousands of years possibly up until 1938 for us to reach two billion people in the world. I was born in 39. Let me tell you that 40 years later, 20 years later, we had doubled that. Was that right, Dudley? No. Um, okay. We, had, uh, by the time I was 40, we had doubled that to 4 billion people. Now I'm 80, and we have 8 billion people. Okay? How are things going? Two four, six, eight, no, they're going two, four, eight, eight. two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, okay? It's, it's exponential. Nobody's paying attention to it. The United Nations is telling us, we got great problems, folks. We've got so many people on the earth by 2050, we can't survive when you really come right down to it. Okay. Is there a problem with food? No, there's no problem with food. Okay, my Okoli, uh, there's no problem with food. We, uh, let, let's take just North Africa as an example. North Africa has run out of space for more development of food, okay? Not only that, they are one of the places that has the least amount of water. Their, their aquifers are going down, 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 down. And what do we expect in that section of North Africa? We expect them to double their population by 2050. Double their population. What about the United States? The United States has 320 million people right now. By 2050, we expect that to be 450. 320 to 450, what are we saying? We're saying for every Three people on Earth now, uh, in the United States now, by 2050, we will have four and a half. Uh, that's just absolutely amazing. And how are we going to feed all of those people? Well, we have the great American breadbasket, right, in the Midwest? Yeah, we sure do. Okay, what's under the great American breadbasket? The greatest aquifer in the U.S. It's the Ogallala Aquifer, okay? It goes from South Dakota to Texas. That aquifer has lost 60% of its water in 60 years. In the last 60 years, it's lost 60% of its water. This, again, we're talking about South Dakota to Texas, okay? In 40 years, how much water will they have? Zero. Now, we take a, take a look at a great American breadbasket, millions of people living there, huh? No water. No water for plants. <coughs> Who's talking about that? The United States telling us about that? No. Are they doing anything about it? No, they're not at all, okay? Let's go to California. San Joaquin Valley, great breadbasket of, I'm sorry about that, great breadbasket of California, huh? Wonderful, except what about the aquifer under, okay? They're closing off land now because the aquifer under is so contaminated with salt. Okay, and, and what? It's drying up faster than the one in the Midwest. Now, is that a problem? <laughs> it's a problem. The United States is already in, importing more food than it exports. We don't know that, huh? No one's paying attention, okay? We've got a disaster facing the U.S. there. Okay, we've got a disaster <coughs> facing us. If we don't have an agricultural revolution now, by 2050, all of us will be starving to death. You guys, I'll be gone, but you're gonna be around, you know? 
Okay, you're going to be starving to death because we don't have any food. Why? Because there's no food in the world. The United Nations is telling us by 2050 we'll have 390 billion, 90 million people starving to death. 390 million people across the world. And, and we'll have just uh, all over the place no water. We'll have wars at that time for food because, if, you know, when we take a look right now at the wars in the world, what are they all about? They're about food, okay? We need to be aware that's happening. Need to be aware that's happening. Need to be aware it's going to weaken the United States, too, okay? And they're going to have real, real problems. Is that their only problem? Oh, no. We've also got sea level rise, huh? And sea level rise is going to swamp an awful lot of Baltimore, New York City. If we just come down the coast, it is city after city after city, including Washington, D.C. Much of Washington, D.C. is below sea level, okay? We got to realize <coughs> they're going to have, they have a coast that goes from Maine to Florida and all the way around. I mean, New Orleans, <laughs> New Orleans is already underwater, right? In the next 50 years, if the water keeps rising as it is rising right now, by, by 2050, the United States is going to have such astronomical expenses trying to save its cities, it's going to be in a terrible, disastrous state. Now, we've got to realize that things are happening around the world at the same time. We're, we're, we're not just sitting out here happy as the United States of decades ago when we ruled the world. We've got China rising up as a great power about to overtake us. We've got India rising up as another great power. We've got Russia out there. We can't expect that the United States is going to be the central economic giant that it always has been. You know, when it begins to face the disasters of water in its cities and, uh, and that expense and, and the disasters of no food, we've got we to gotta think, you know. It's quite possible at that time they're going to want us to go. They're going to want us to go. And so I just want to say we do have this idea of the Hawaii National Transitional Authority. We could get the state to just recognize the facts that no one is talking about and, and, and realize that, you know, maybe, maybe we are just so crooked now that we can't do anything. I mean, it's, is that possible? It's true. I mean, you know, and person after person after person is saying it and we're saying it in the newspapers. We're so corrupt. And our people are so corrupted, our, our, our the city council and our legislators. Is it possible that we could just set up a, a little side Hawaiian project here called the Hawaii National Transitional Authority and give them some of these just phenomenal things to take over and show themselves and let us grow over the next 30 years as a nation. Let us start tackling problems like that and let us let us be, begin to 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 learn how to do it and do it together with everybody here so that in 30 years when everything falls apart and we're ready to take over we're ready to do that okay so i just want to propose these ideas to you i want to tell you we can't run away from these things folks it uh an awful lot of this is found on the website 2050 hawaii uh, you know, and uh, there, there are papers with all kinds of documentation there to tell you about it. I encourage you to look at that. I encourage you to pick up these things before you go. I encourage you to uh, have more something in there if there is. And, <laughs> and also stick around and talk, okay? And thank you very much for coming. Thank you, Poka. And thank you, Leon. Fantastic.